Alrighty, so we're gonna start with a bit of olive oil in here. Actually, it is extra virgin olive oil because honestly, I really do only buy extra virgin olive oil because you know you just you just don't know where those other oils have been, to be honest. So you're safer with that one. So get that in the pan, and then we'll put in a bit of onion there. Get him sizzling. Alrighty guys, time to piff in our meat and look honestly, this meat is so rare at this point that if you threw a master ball at it, you'd probably catch the pork Pokemon. But that's what we're here to fix. This is why we are cooking our meat because pork is one of those ones that you don't want to um, trust too rare because honestly, you'll end up sicker than your average 18 year old on their first night out on the town. And this is pretty much where you want it now, guys. So I think it looks like it's pretty much stopped singing Hakuna Matata. It's been getting hot in here, guys, so take off all your cloves and chuck them in the pan after you've given them a quick chop. Now, guys, we're up to the point where you work out that this is what a good spice rack does for you. It helps you win the Hunger Games. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in a few of our spices. We've got some salt, black pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper, bit of oregano or the old basil and a bit of chili flakes as well give that a hell of a good stir around and guys it's totally like spicing up date night you get netflix and chilies but actually these are capsicum so we're going to put them in anyway not as spicy as chilies oh now the fact was known to me that these were religious salad leaves so let us pray Actually, it is spinach, and we're just going to toss that through. The heat of the meat should just wilt that down nicely. Now, guys, one of the strangest things and also funniest things that has happened to me ever um, happened. So, I got home from the shops. I'd collected a few things uh, for this recipe. I've got my cauliflower, and I've got my broccoli for another recipe. Um, they're in separate bags. They didn't actually see each other on the way home. Anyway get home and I put my broccoli in the little um, vegetable bin that I've got there and um, you know obviously started chopping up my cauliflower for the rice next thing I hear is this just this kind of squeak in the background I looked around anyway I see my little broccoli on his bloody back flailing his little legs and his arms around bloody quite in distress there after a bit of a debrief I heard that he'd yelled out ghost um, anyway I, after a bit of a bit more of a chat with him, I sort of worked out that he was talking about the cauliflower, and he's quite confused um, about this because he thought that the cauliflower was a dead broccoli, but actually that obviously wasn't the case. It's a whole different bloody vegetable. So after a bit of explaining, he calmed back down, and, and I stood him back up um, for him to watch the onslaught, um, which was kind of mean to me in the in the end, really, because. The broccoli uh, did succumb to the death by knife, so poor little fella. Anyway, it was quite nice. Look at the consistency of that. Turned out quite well. Then we're going to put him in the microwave for six minutes. Um, don't put any water in. Let it do its own thing, right? So there's plenty of moisture in the cauliflower itself. Let it steam itself, all right? Because if you don't, you're going to end up with mushy rice. No one likes mushy rice. See how much steam's coming out of there? Give that a nice uh, bit of a stir. Have a look at it. It's honestly the most fluffy, bloody stuff in the world. Right, guys, okay, time to piff in the cauliflower into the rabbit food. Give it a hell of a tear around in the pan. You know, it only gets one life, so you might as well make it enjoyable as you possibly can. And then we're going to put some parmesan cheese on top, which just bloody sets it off. Look, I've just reminded myself of a story here. Um, I was walking down with Gordon Ramsay on the road the other day and we were just cruising down the road and this old bloke threw a block of cheese at us and we were like, what the f***, mate? That wasn't very mature, was it? And he was like, nah, it was apparently fromage blank, which is French for bloody fresh cheese. And when I yelled at him, mate, that was f***ing immature. He looked at me and just started laughing, which was not funny to me, because I was like, well, I just got hit in the head with a wheel of cheese, and Gordo's just sitting there having a good old chuckle. 
He did end up apologising and we are friends again, for those of you who were worried in the comments. No, like it is possible, but I can't believe you thought I'd know every name of fresh cheese that exists. Seriously. I'm not a master chef yet. So at the end of all this shenanigans, we have ended up with something palatable here. We've got our porky cauliflower chili, but not chili, capsicum-y rice. It's fantastic. Give it a go. Doesn't take much time at all. It's a one pan wonder. Enjoy. Also, just before you go, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that damn button, please. And then click like as well, because it really helps, guys, to get some more recipes out there for you later. And a few cheeky puns as well. They never hurt anybody. Thank you.